come on, dog. A bitch can't get up and you know what I'm saying? It, the bitch, the bitch ain't on birth control. She can't afford no kids. She say she don't want no kids, but this bitch can't get up and try to piss the shit out. I don't give a fuck how retarded that shit sound, my nigga. God damn, bitch, you, you ain't even gonna put no effort in? You ain't even gonna put no effort in and try to goddamn get that nut out? You ain't on birth control. You can't afford the kids you got. CPS then had to come around this bitch telling you to goddamn get this five foot goddamn boy out these fuck. Go buy some fucking drawers, bitch. You got the goddamn boy wearing pampers, you nothing ass bitch. Much as I appreciate you fucking with my channel the way you do, if you not moving forward in life, I pretty much fucking failed. I don't gotta ask you if you tired of being broke. I don't gotta ask you if you tired of the coworkers at your bullshit ass job. I do not have to ask you if you tired of the way your family looks down on you. But what I do have to ask you is how much longer you gonna wait to do something about this shit, big on? Call this fucking number. Let's get something moving in a forward, positive, northward direction. Call this number. I told you this. Get your shit together, big homes. Welcome back to the Big Face Podcast. I am A.O. Conseco, fearless leader of A.O. Nation. This is... cookies if you don't I, I went crazy if you do not have your are you serious t-shirt or your big face podcast t-shirt or your big face podcast scully or your big face podcast snapback go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10 t-shirts are going for 20 the scully's are going for 15 and the snapbacks are going for 20 also um make sure that you send your Make sure you send all the information in the PayPal note. Also, make sure that you send your picture back with your uniform on so we can get you at the beginning of the show. Um, <laughs> remember also, uh, that's not the PayPal that you go to to donate. Remember, we're doing the AO Nation donation conversation. Uh, at the end of every week So when you donate um, You will be shouted out So make sure that you write your note In the PayPal note So I can speak that out On um, Sundays um, And that PayPal Obviously is always on the screen Right here um, I saw something And um, it bothered me it bothered me. It did. It really did bother me. Um, because my mother um, was a teacher once upon a time. And one of my fears was that uh, a, a child would, you know, you, you hear about children putting their hands on teachers and shit like that. And my fear wasn't so much her getting hit or, you know, none of that, whatever like that. It was going to prison. You know what I'm saying? It was that whole having to, like, really living the rest of my life in a cage and shit like that. Like, that, that going back to the cell, you know what I'm saying? Um, her, my mama having to come visit me and put money on my books. And all that shit like that. Because I don't know what else. I don't know what else to do. Let me show y'all something.
Is that a boy or a girl? Is that a boy or a girl? Would it matter? When we talk about um, that, that's what you get. That is what you get when you got these nothing ass bitches raising, not even raising, but babysitting these children. And letting the TV, video games, and social media raise their children. This is what you get. No one gives a fuck while it's going on. Nobody gives a fuck because everybody's caught up in the, oh, uh, well, uh, she got to go to work. And um, she's doing the best she can. But as this bitch is struggling right now, right now, it's a bitch around you that's struggling fucked up she got two kids and this bitch is about to get pregnant again she's fucked up the bitch asks you for mayonnaise and rides and all kind of shit do you know that this bitch about to have another baby that she's not gonna raise with two kids in her arm um, in your motherfucking in your car that you had to give her a ride she ain't got no gas money this bitch is still on motherfucking instagram Scrolling and shit. Acting like the kid. God damn. Move your head. And then. When this happens at school. And. And a grown man comes up there and do something to that fucking kid, then it's, you, you know, and that, that, this, this is my shit, that reactionary shit has never been my shit, I've always been a proactive, like, let's nip this shit in the bud, in the bud, you can send that nigga off to prison for knocking that fucking kid's teeth out. But you're going to have to keep doing it because all over the U.S., these children are putting their fucking hands on your mama. Your mama really loves children and she want, and she believes that you can, you can, you can aid these children. They just had a rough upbringing and uh, their mama just didn't care about them. They never had love. And then they get treated like that. Could you imagine, dog? Of course, your, your mom won't even call you. Like, she'll, she'll try to stay away from you. Could you imagine, though, looking at the news and seeing your mom get dead like that? Who would you go after? That child or that child's parents? Dog. Could you imagine a boy child punching your mother in the fucking face and bucking up and then your mother still trying to console the child? But nobody wants to talk about the fucking problem. One of the main reasons why I fuck with Katrina, man, is because she is, you know what I'm saying? She shows that all of them are not like that. But she knows everything that they go through. So when she says it, it has to be respected. When I say it, it can be, ah, oh, that nigga don't know, he, he, that's, that's, that, he don't, you know what I'm saying? But when a black 
mother tells you, I know why you did this shit. You did it because you were trying to trap him. It's so powerful. Because it's like, you can't say, uh, nah, that's, that's maybe, maybe that's what she was on. No, bitch. This is what the fuck you was on. You was on this. She knows what the fuck you hoes is out this motherfucker doing. She was around y'all. She seen it, but she had a mind. People think that Katrina is stuck up because of the way she looked and the way that she carries herself. She don't carry herself like a, a slutty, nothing ass black bitch. She carry herself like I should be giving respect. You're not going to come at me with that same thing. You're not going to talk to her the way you talk to a nothing ass black bitch. You're not going to do it. Because she just don't give you that, you know what I'm saying, vibe. It's like, it's totally different. But because we do have that element out there and you not, you lame ass niggas that are just so, listen to me. Listen to me. I've been practicing the three S's jointly, simultaneously, you know what I mean? All three of them for almost three years. I understand, you know what I'm saying, the urge, not just even to have sex, but to have someone, you know what I'm saying, around other than, you know what I'm saying, Human beings, not dogs. You know what I'm saying? I understand that sometimes it will be lonely. But it's... When you see shit like this, and when you see... When you look back on where you were, and you look at right now all the things that you've acquired from being that focused, go watch your porn hub and get your mind together. Come on back. Let's get it in. Because when you niggas come into a bitch's house and see the kids running rampant, the house is just awry. And you just walk straight. I've done it, my nigga. I've done it. I've done it. I'm ashamed myself. I've done it. You walk straight to the room. She grabbed me a hand. She leading you to the room. This bitch opened her door. And act like it wasn't a war zone. This bitch is looking in your eyes. Attempting to seduce you. To put on a fucking horse blocker so that you can't see that these two little kids is shooting dice like a motherfucker. God damn. How old is that goddamn baby in Pampers? That goddamn boy damn near five feet. Why the fuck do he got on Pampers? What the fuck is going on? Is that a is that little girl washing out her fucking pamper? In the sink. And why in the fuck is she washing it out in the sink? But why in the fuck is she washing out a pamper? All of this shit going on. Spongebob on the TV. But the TV don't work. I'm talking about uh, Spongebob. A whole fucking toy is just on the TV. Just everywhere. Just nigga. Big ass box TV using that motherfucker as a goddamn table. And you just walk straight back to that room. And don't put a condom on in the fucking first. In the name of Jesus. I'm so blessed. Jesus Christ. I'm so blessed. Nigga. Her bed so soft too, man. That bitch got satin sheets on that motherfucker. Just a soft ass bed. That bed is made for fucking, man. That bed is made for fucking. And that bed is not made for you to pull out. The bed is too soft. The bed too soft for you to make any sudden movements like that. 
that bed is for you to lay in something. I know what's going on, my nigga. That bed is the only thing that don't got no... You know what I'm saying? That, that bed is the only thing that's immaculate in that house. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, she got that bed. She made that bed so live because she don't want you to get up and go to the bathroom and see how fucked up that shit is. Lord Jesus. She don't want you to go to that motherfucking bathroom, that small ass bathroom. Lord Jesus. Boy, that bathroom so small. God damn. Nigga, I'm taking I'm Nigga, I'm taking Nigga, I, I don't know how to... Fuck that toilet ain't in the goddamn... I thought the toilet was in the motherfucking bathtub. Like, goddamn, these motherfuckers close than a motherfucker, man. Like, bitch, how the fuck you... This hoe got the metro set up. This bitch got the goddamn sink over the toilet. How the fuck did you do that? Like, that's... How the fuck... It goddamn toilet, man. You got the fucking toilet... Every, you know, every hoe gonna have a goddamn, the motherfucking, the, the rug on top of the damn toilet cap, the toilet seat. She got, she got the goddamn rug on top of that motherfucker. It's a rug on, so you pick that bitch up. So I don't know what the fuck, I guess that's when you sit on top of the toilet. I don't know what the fuck that shit about. Got that shit on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Small ass bathroom, dog. Bathroom smaller than the motherfucker, dog. How the fuck you got this damn sink right over the goddamn toilet? I'm washing my hand, pissing this thing. What the fuck, man? But that bed, though, man. That bed, you know what I'm saying? Goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. It's not made for you to pull out, dog. And, you un and it's at that point that you understand how that happened. How that happened in that living room like that? Why that shit look like that? From a nigga getting trapped. You know what I'm saying? That bitch know what the fuck she doing. But I, I'm a, like real shit. Fucking that hoe on the... I, me, I enjoy fucking that hoe on the... I think, but I, was, I, think I was on the bars though. Uh, I enjoy fucking a bitch on the couch in uh, French Quarter. French Quarter, um... No, I ain't been out there more. No, I ain't been out there more for a minute. Um, that's not a zero point. Where is she? Orlean plays down there on Michael. I'm talking French Quarter. Ain't that the uh, the uh the gas station that's damn near connected? You know the damn neighborhood down there. Down there from Sitgo. Uh, French, fuck, French Quarter. Like, I enjoy fucking that hoe on the couch more than the bed. You know what I'm saying? I really did. I don't know why. It was probably, I was probably. But it wasn't the same though. But it, it like, just retarded. Retarded. Like, it ain't. But when you out there living like that, when you really living like that for real like that, it ain't no real pull out for real like that. Cause you know you know you know you know it's over for you. You know it's over. You know that you finna go to prison or you know what I'm saying, you finna die. Like so you living in that moment. You really living in that moment because you know that you not whatever happened, you're not even gonna be here to even face the consequences. Because you know what I'm saying, like Nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the run. You know what I'm saying? Most, come on, man. I'm out this bitch. So, but that's that's how, and, and it's so crazy, though. A nigga be going through all that shit, man. And a bitch will know all of this, man. A bitch, and that, because that's the type of nigga she like. And, um, Have Wolverine and Spider Man all in the front, man. Fucking this shit up. But just as soon as this bitch, like this, dog, you had to give this whole ride home. Did I need this whole ride home? I think we got dropped, because I ain't had no car at the time. We got dropped off over that motherfucker. You would get dropped, like y'all both would get dropped off in.
do nothing to bitch. As soon as this hoe get pregnant, ain't no, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no plan B in the morning. Ain't no, ain't no nothing, my nigga. Depending on, like, dog, man, I can't. <laughs> man, come on, dog. This shit's so crazy. Come on. Most time, the bitch don't even, like, come on, dog. Most time, the bitch, man, that bitch, that hoe take that nut like goddamn uh, 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 midnight snack, my nigga. I'm going to be for real, dog. That hoe take that goddamn nut like, you know what I'm saying, like like a fucking, you know what I'm saying, like a TV show before you go to bed. Like, that bitch take that bitch. Ain't nothing going on. Ain't nothing going nowhere. I was never on that shit. If I fuck a hoe and I lay down in that shit, whatever like that, like we turn, like we in there, it's like that. Good most time, I will make the hoe, like, and why the fuck do I got to make the hoe do that anyway? You'll be them bust all in the bitch, whatever like that, that bitch will turn the fuck over and get your arm and put it over. Like, we finna go to sleep now. That hoe just took that nut. We fucked up, man. We fucked up because it's like the hoe don't got no mind. These hoes ain't got no mind. And listen to me. Even if I am talking about a, a, a percentage of bitches that ain't, hey, hey, bitch, don't you come on this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Don't you come on this motherfucker and act like, goddamn, you ain't part of this motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Don't you come on this motherfucker and act like that ain't all hoes when it's you, bitch. When it's you, bitch. You the bitch that take the nut and put a nigga arm around you and just let a nigga sleep with all, you know what I'm saying? Just like, bitch, you don't mind a nigga just got pussy juice and, and nut all on his dick, whatever like that. Whatever, you might let the nigga fuck you in the ass. Whatever the fuck you got going on, bitch. Saliva all on nigga dicks so it's spit stanking on nigga dick. You don't give a fuck. You lazy bitch. You don't even want to go up there and get no rag no more, bitch. You just finna go take it on in. You finna keep that nut in you like that. And then you wonder why the fuck nigga don't eat you out or, or you wonder why your pussy stink, ho. You nothing ass bitch. Be the same bitch, but this this hoe gon' this this nothing ass, lazy ass bitch, some kind of way gonna take it all the way. This hoe gonna take it nine months. Just can't this this hoe uh, twenty to ten. Like what the fuck? But that's what I'm saying, though, man. Like, you can you can holler all that shit you want about, like, that's not all them hoes and everything like that, my nigga. Even if it's one of them bitches, them is the hoes that produce this type of shit, dog. Come on, dog. A bitch can't get up and, you know what I'm saying? It, the, bitch, the bitch ain't on birth control. She can't afford no kids. She say she don't want no kids, but this bitch can't get up and try to piss the shit out. I don't give a fuck how retarded that shit sound, my nigga. God damn, bitch, you, you ain't even gonna put no effort in? You ain't even gonna put no effort in and try to goddamn get that nut out? You ain't on birth control. You can't afford the kids you got. CPS then had to come around this bitch telling you to goddamn get this five foot goddamn boy out these fuck. Go buy him some fucking drawers, bitch. You got the goddamn boy wearing pampers, you nothing ass bitch. How old that fucking child is? But here you go, taking it all the way again. So now you got four of them. You nothing ass bitch. And now that the damn child didn't went to school and hit the teacher in the face, and now you and you up that whole wolf like the fuck the teacher did something wrong. Lord Jesus Christ, man, we got some issues like this motherfucker that I don't even, I don't know, I don't. It's just, but this how we living though, my nigga. Like even though like I can't, obviously I can't live like that no more and shit like that. But I'm telling you, my nigga, this niggas out this bitch just like this just. Retarded, and it's like it's not that I'm throwing the blame off the nigga, but understand the mindset, man. A nigga's not thinking about living. Niggas not gonna be free and living in two years. Why? In nine, nigga, nine months. Are you serious? Come on, man. Like I'm this, this the case I'm running from. Like, bitch, you can't be serious. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna take care of no fucking child, and I'm not finna fucking pull out. Bitch, I'm out here turnt. Bitch, I don't give a fuck about nothing. Nothing. I don't give a fuck what you do with the nut. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to be doing whatever the fuck you do. You're doing it by your fucking self. 
That's the diaspora. But so when you put it on the niggas, like putting it, come on, man, I'm already fucked up out here. And it, like for a nigga to see what we seeing, we got a security guard who saved the whole ball up there in fucking Chicago. He saved the whole ball. Nigga coming, nigga get beat up or some shit like that. He come back. I don't know if it's a white club or a black club, but that's gonna make all the difference. The motherfucker come back. I'm gonna say he white. So the white boy come back trying to kill everybody and shit like that. The security guard jump in action, get the white boy down. You know what I'm saying? Got a knee in his back, gun pointed with a security shirt on. Soon the goddamn police get there, they kill the goddamn security guard. So not only can these motherfuckers commit a mass murder in wherever they want to all over the world and come in unharmed, but I be goddamn. Man, nigga, shit. So with all this shit going on, it's only, you know, it's like it's only so many ways a black man can take mentally, take in what's being done to him on the largest of scales. You know what I'm saying? And one of those ways is, I right, so they got me, they fucked me up, this system fucked up, corrupted me, all this bullshit like this. Man, fuck this shit, man, I'm going out however. And just be like, fuck everything, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas fight against it, like, I'm a, I'm, I'm, this system is so fucked up, it's motivating me to be the best I can be. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, go be a lawyer, nigga, go get in the military, nigga, become a police officer to change it. Or... Niggas turn into a, like, fuck this shit, nigga. I'm finna get money while I'm here, nigga. I'm living. You know what I'm saying? To put the blame on that nigga and not the bitch who actually has to carry the child, because let's take it on another level, obviously. If it's a police officer that she has sex with and he wants the child, this bitch has six months and, and then she say, nah, I don't want the child no more. And can kill the child. And this nigga can't do a fucking thing. Can't say shit. But that's cool. That's cool right there. This nigga. Whatever. She got all the power. All the control. But then when the bitch decide to have the child. When the nigga tell her to get an abortion. Because he don't want nothing to do with no child. He just living. Now it's we did it together. Whoa, what we, oh, no, we, we, we fuck. I, I want, I want to fuck. I want, I, yeah, no, no, no it's, it's good, I'm saying. No, I want, I want to have sex. I want, I didn't want, I, no, hold on. I want to have sex. I want to have, I didn't want a kid. I, 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 I didn't want a kid. And then the game get even more retarded because a nigga can't abort his financial duties to the child. But if the bitch don't want the child, the bitch can go take the child anywhere on the planet. Church, fire hydrant, water burger, police station. Drop the baby off and walk the fuck away. No questions asked. Not a bill in sight. Not a bill in sight. How does that work? A bitch can just up and give the child the fuck away. Why can't I do that? This bitch had the child and she has no responsibility. I didn't do nothing but fuck this bitch. Let me stop. But I'm, I'm trying to tell you that's how we get these kind of children from nothing ass bitches and renegade niggas. Until that shit stop, ain't nothing gonna happen. So your ratchet ass cousin over that motherfucker, you keep thinking that shit ain't got nothing to do with you. Keep thinking they ain't got nothing to do with you until they have children and then your child finds their child the, to be the most goddamn funnest fucking child on the planet. So they cousins, but they child raised like a fucking, been raised by everything else is going to suck your child up into an indictment or a fucking casket. Keep thinking that it's just, you know what I'm saying? Keep on. Big Face Podcast, Ayo Conseco, hit the PayPal. See you in a minute. Love.